Hey what is up everyone, Chris Harvey here, welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to talk about how to emulate the sound of a pedal steel with the guitar. If this is the first time that you're checking out my channel, then welcome. I post weekly content every Tuesday about all things guitar related, so if that sounds like something that you're into, do consider hitting that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you find this lesson helpful. So it's been a while since I've actually taught a lesson on this channel, but I was listening to an album today that just really inspired me. Now the album that I'm talking about is The Fade Out by Duke Levine. I will leave a link to it down below. I definitely recommend that you check it out, but it's basically an instrumental guitar album. Duke's guitar playing is really interesting because I guess stylistically, it's very kind of country and Americana but he incorporates a lot of bends in his rhythm work to give the sound of a pedal steel, and that's what's inspired this video. Now, a guilty pleasure of mine has always been country music. In fact, no, I'm not even gonna say that it's a guilty pleasure. I don't feel guilty about it. Country is awesome, and pedal steel is a really, really cool sound. Today I'm gonna share three hacks or things that you can do to immediately emulate that sound and it's great for lead, it's great for rhythm, and it works in any song that's in a major key. So it doesn't even need to just be for country music. So these pedal steel techniques are all gonna be based around triads, and we're gonna use a series of bends to highlight the chords that we're playing over. So we're gonna keep it simple, using a one, four, five as the kind of basis for this lesson, and I'm gonna show you three different positions, or at least three different techniques and places where you can incorporate these bends. So let's do this in the key of D major. So in a one, four, five, our one chord is gonna be D. So you can play a D major here, or you can play D major up here. But what if you wanted to play a D major chord with a pedal steel sound? Well, you would play it something like this. So what am I doing there? Basically, I'm just bending up to the note that outlines that chord. Now, if you're not familiar, the major third interval is the interval that gives chords either a major or a minor sound. So in a major chord, our major third interval is here. So with lick one, we're basically going to bend up to that major third interval. So we've got our D major triad here. But what we're going to do is we're going to play with our first note on the G string here on the ninth fret. And we're going to bend that up to fret 11. So it gives you this sound. One more time. And this basically works for any major chord where the root is on the low E string. So it could be your kind of D major bar chord here, B major, A major. You get the idea, this is a transposable technique. So no matter what major chord you're playing on, on the low E string, you can incorporate that lick. Now another thing you can do is you can bend up to, again, this major third interval, but from an upper extension in the chord. So this time, we're gonna be around our D major pentatonic shape here. And we're basically gonna take this triad, which is our D major triad, and this time, we're gonna play these two notes on the 10th fret. We're gonna grab our 9th fret on our G string, and this time, we're gonna bend it upwards. So we're gonna do this technique. So we're basically picking the same interval there, but we're just approaching it from a slightly different way. Finally, this does work in triads in other positions. So we've also got a D major chord here. This is probably a really familiar position for you to be playing a D major chord. And again, like we were talking about with major chords that have their roots on the low E string, any major chord that has their root on the A string, you can incorporate this lick. So what we're going to do here is this is our D major triad. But we're going to bend up to this note here. So you can do this just from a semitone below. So 
So again, no matter where you land on your A string, if it's a major chord, then just take your major triad, take your middle note, take it a semitone lower, and just bend down until you hit that note. The intonation is going to be the thing to get right. You want to make sure that you're hitting that bend really precisely every time, but the more you practice it, the easier that will become. Now you can also take this same approach and you can use it to bridge chords together. So in a 1-4-5, if we're going to go from D major to the 4 chord, which would be G major, then what you can play is if you remember that second lick that I showed you where we kind of bent up here. So we're going to highlight this triad but this time we're going to play the triad in this shape here and we're going to take our major third interval in D major and we're going to bend that up a semitone because you'll notice that if you bend this note here up a semitone then basically you've then got what we would call the root position of our G chord because this note here is G. So what does that sound like? Well you would go from your D major to G. So guys, I hope this helps. I really enjoy incorporating some of these bends into my playing, regardless of whether it's country or not. It's just a really useful technique, and if you can learn it in all keys up and down the fretboard, it's a really useful flavor to incorporate into your playing. As always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell to get notified when I upload. And of course, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next Tuesday for another video.